Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense, resuming our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the hyaline cartilage, the fibrocartilage, and the elastic cartilage. Today, we shall compare among all of them. Just a quick reminder that hyaline cartilage exists at articular surfaces, as well as the epiphyseal growth plate. Fibrocartilage is fibrous and very strong, and cells that look like fibroblasts. So where should I put it? in the midline to bear the burden of the body weight, especially your skull. That's why you find fibrocartilage in the intervertebral discs as well as the symphysis pubis. As for elastic cartilage, that's the tip of your nose, the pinna of your ear as well as the external auditory meatus. So now let's get started. Please watch the videos in my anatomy playlist. Cartilages are mesodermal in origin and they are connective tissue. When you were an embryo growing, you needed endochondral ossification. The cartilage is dying. And on top of that, we are laying down new bone. This is endochondral ossification, which happens thanks to the hyaline cartilages. Cartilage is not the same as bone. Cartilage is firm, not hard. Cartilage mostly has type 2 collagen, as well as type 5, type 6, etc. Cartilage has no vessels, not just no blood vessels, no blood vessels, no lymph vessels, no nerves, and no calcification under normal circumstances. The cells of cartilage are the chondrocytes. Because they have no blood vessels, they have a lower metabolic rate and a limited regeneration capacity. It can happen in some cases, but it's a very limited capacity. Cartilages, do they have calcium? No, they do not have calcium. It's non-calcified. Do they have cells? Yeah, chondroblasts and chondrocytes. And if you are a fibrocartilage, we shall add a fibroblast to the list of cells. The matrix, WOTA for hydration, type 2 collagen and glycosaminoglycans, as well as proteoglycans. Let's review the different types of collagen. Type 1 is in bone and type 2 is in cartilage. For the most part. If you want most important types of collagen that are found in cartilage, they are type 2, type 6, type 9, 10, and 11. How many types of cartilage do we have? Hyaline, fibro, and elastic. We talked about all of them in previous videos, so please refer to the previous videos for a more detailed discussion. And never forget that the transcription factor SOX9 stimulates chondrogenesis formation of cartilage. A cool way to remember it is that cartilages need SOX9 and they have collagen type 9 among others. Now on to today's topic, the comparison hyaline versus fibrocartilage versus elastic cartilage. What's the function? Hyaline, cushion and support and low friction. That's why you find it in joints at the articular surfaces. The word hyaline means clear, glassy, translucent, Fibrocartilage, very strong, fibrous, many collagen fibers, especially type 1 and 2. That's why they are very, very firm. And they resist deformation under stress. Where should I put them? Intervertebral discs, symphysis pubis, the labrum of the glenoid for the shoulder joint, the labrum of the acetabulum at the hip joint, the famous or the infamous temporomandibular joint, the menisci of your knee, and the triangular fibrocartilage complex of your wrist joint, because they are very strong. The elastic cartilage, well, your ear pinna is elastic, your external ear is elastic, external auditory meatus is elastic, the tip of your nose and the tip of your larynx. I mean the epiglottis. Among all laryngeal cartilages, only the epiglottis is elastic. The other laryngeal cartilages are all hyaline. Next, tell me about the extracellular matrix. Hyaline has type 2 collagen and agrican. Fibrocartilage has type 1 and 2 collagen and versican, which is secreted by the fibroblasts. The elastic cartilage has type 2 collagen, agrican, just like hyaline, plus elastic fibers such as elastin. The cells, hyaline cartilages have chondroblasts and chondrocytes. Elastic are the same. Fibrocartilage are stronger because they have fibroblasts or technically cells that are indistinguishable from fibroblasts. When it comes to calcification, normally cartilage should not calcify, but we have exceptions. In hyaline cartilage, the very young and the very old 
can experience calcification. In the embryo, it was the endochondral ossification. In the very old, it's osteoarthritis, as well as chondrocalcinosis in cases of pseudogout or calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate deposition disease. Fibrocartilages can calcify during bone repair. Elastic cartilage never calcify. Have you ever seen a calcified ear penna? I've never seen anyone. When it comes to the cover of cartilage, the perichondrium, hyaline cartilages do have a perichondrium with the exception of articular cartilages. Fibro, no perichondrium. Elastic do have a perichondrium. Here's a quick note. If you want to see elastic fibers under the microscope, you'll need some special stains such as Resorsenfuchsen and Orsen stains. If you like this video, you will enjoy my autonomic pharmacology course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. Learn about all of these crazy receptors and the medications that target those receptors. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.